But my dad brought me to your physics of science fiction course when I was eight years old. Right. Um, oh. Here in MR2. Folks, this is the story of how my life came full circle. But first, let me tell you who I am. My name is Rifaz Bari. I'm an undergraduate physics major at the City College of New York, where I'm graduating with a 3.95 GPA, two published papers, and one under review, and heading off to Brown University this fall for my master's in physics. The story begins on January 25, 2011. Back then, my dad, who is now a PhD student at Columbia University, was by daytime, a full-time economics major at the City College of New York, and by nighttime, a security guard in Marsha Hall in the same school. Now that day in January, my dad came home telling me he had a little surprise. I was a bit puzzled because it wasn't my birthday and there were no holidays coming up. Either way, we were too poor to make a difference. In either case, my dad told me he was taking Dr. Michio Kaku's course, Physics of Science Fiction, at CCNY this semester, and he planned on inviting me. My little eight-year-old mind was blown away by dad's proposal. You see, ever since I was a young child, I had grown up reading Dr. Kaku's books, watching his shows, and dreaming that one day I too could become a theoretical physicist just like him, solving the greatest mysteries of our universe and understanding why the universe works the way it does. And so every Tuesday and Thursday, we would walk up. The two of us, me and dad, would walk up, Marsha call, enter, MR2, where Dr. Kaku would guide us through the cosmos, from star to star, galaxy to galaxy, black hole to black hole. I took your course last semester right, right. as a 20 year old, right. but my dad brought me to your physics of science fiction course when I was eight years old, Right uh, oh, here right. in MR2, oh, okay. uh, when the seats were still red velvet. So when it came time to decide which institution I would pursue my bachelor's of physics in, the decision was a no-brainer, the City College of New York. Over the next three years, I would publish not one, not two, well, actually two, yes, uh, and one under review, but who's counting? Two papers in theoretical physics. The first published in The Physics Teacher on a numerical solution to the generalized Bertie-Strachan problem, and two, second paper presenting a new analytic equation for reflection from a relativistic moving mirror. Last semester, I took Dr. Kaku's class one last time. Fall of 2023, physics of science fiction. But the only difference was this time, I wasn't eight years old, I was 20 years old. Exactly. And I'm proud to announce that this semester, I received City College's Michu Kaku Scholarship in Theoretical Physics. Uh, I'm a student is Rifaz Bari, and he's uh, an award scheme for an outstanding relative physics mayor to contributor, contributor to the research efforts in some branch of theory. My story ends where it began, my home, the City College of New York, where I first entered as an eight-year-old taking Dr. Kaku's course and where I'm now leaving as a 21-year-old with a 3.95 GPA, two published papers in theoretical physics, and three graduate program acceptances for a master's in physics at Brown University, a master's in engineering at the University of California at Berkeley, and a PhD at NYU. I'll be heading off to Brown University this fall for my master's in physics. But perhaps most importantly, yesterday I received the honor of a lifetime, the Michio Kaku Scholarship in Theoretical Physics from none other than my hero himself, Dr. Michio Kaku, to receive recognition from the very hero who inspired me to study physics in the first place is the honor of a lifetime. Thank you, Dr. Kaku, for inspiring me to study the universe since I was eight years old. And thank you for listening to my story.